Hey guys, it is Catherine with Naptime Alternative and I'm here today to walk you through my brand new Etsy shop release. It is called the Letter Planner. Now this planner is made strictly for people that want to improve their lettering. It's not a functional planner whatsoever. It's not meant for you to plan dates or events or to write down your to-dos. It is made strictly for lettering and the goal of this planner is to give you a space where you can practice your lettering every single day. Now, there are a lot of options for this planner. You can purchase the planner itself, and the planner comes with a cover. It's a PDF file, so it's meant to be imported into whatever app you use for digital planning. I highly recommend GoodNotes 5, um, which is what I'm using here. So you can import that into GoodNotes 5, and each section, there are 12 sections that are unlabeled, so you can label them however you want. Each section comes with a weekly layout, which you'll see right here. I'm gonna show you how to use this in a minute, and a daily layout, which is right here. And it gives you some prompts. So you can come up with whatever word you want, literally any word, any name, and assign that to a specific day. So this is undated. So let's say you wanted to start on a Monday and every day work on a new word. You would just either write or type that word here, date it here, and then you've got four spaces to work on your capital letters, four spaces for your lowercase, four spaces for a monoline style, four spaces for brush lettering, and then four spaces for you to just get really creative with whatever word you've assigned yourself that day, and this will last for seven days. On your daily page, it works pretty much the same way, you just have way more space. So this column is your capital letter style, this is your lower letter, lowercase letter, not lower letter. This is your monoline style, this is your brush style, and this is your creative style right here. I also left space for you to write your word underneath the prompts right here. So that is what you get. It also comes with some stickers, which I'll show you here in a minute, so you can easily date your planner. I wanted to utilize as much space as possible for your daily page, so I didn't leave a spot for dates here, but you can write the date anywhere you want. And here you've got a space above each day to add a day and then a number for that day. And then there's a space here where you can add the month if you'd like. I left all of these tabs completely unlabeled so you can label them however you want, but I did include monthly stickers if you do want to label your planner by month. And I'll show you the easiest way to do that in just a second. So the cool thing about this planner is it comes with a separate pages folder because if you like to letter in Procreate, which is what I highly recommend, you can import those pages directly in Procreate and practice in Procreate. But if you're not wanting to use Procreate, if you're wanting to do all of your lettering in GoodNotes, you can still do it in GoodNotes using the pens that they have available because GoodNotes 5 actually comes with a brush pen. So my writing is terrible in Good notes, I'm just gonna be honest with you, but the first thing that I'm gonna cover is the pen recommendations for this planner if you're practicing your lettering in Good Notes. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type a word to practice and let's just practice the word hello. So I'm gonna add text right here and one wish print is what is selected right now, so I'll just go with that. So I've typed my word and now I'm just gonna shrink the size down until it fits in that pink box. And now I can move that here. And so now I've assigned my word for the day. So for capital and lowercase, I recommend using the fountain pen. It's a little bit pressure sensitive. And I highly recommend zooming in, whether you're working in GoodNotes or Procreate, you're gonna get better results when you zoom in and use a thinner brush setting. I have mine on 0 0.3 millimeters. So now right here, I can just start writing. I usually kind of tilt my iPad when I write in GoodNotes. And you've got four spaces here. And like I said, my writing is so terrible in GoodNotes. So now I recommend that same pen setting for lowercase. Of course, you can adjust it until you're more comfortable. For monoline, I recommend trying out the ball pen because that one is not pressure sensitive, you'll see here. 
So monoline, it can be actually a thick writing if you want. What monoline means is just that it is the same thickness all throughout. So you can make your brush thicker if you want. I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit and make it a little thicker. So it's like this because that's a little bit more forgiving. And like I said, my handwriting in GoodNotes is terrible. It's so much better on paper or in Procreate. So then I would just do that four times. And then the brush pen, they have a brush pen. Again, my handwriting is terrible in GoodNotes, so this is gonna be really bad, but you've got four spaces to practice your brush lettering in GoodNotes if you want to. Let me adjust that thickness. Look how bad that is, y'all. I hate this brush pen. <laughs> but you get the idea. If you zoom in and you can adjust your brush however you want, you've got plenty of space on each line to practice your lettering. So let me erase all of that. So now really quickly, I'm gonna show you how to easily label your tabs if you want to label them with the months that come with this planner. I'm also gonna show you the date stickers. Okay, so to date this planner, super easily, whether you're using the stickers that come with this planner or if you're using text or whatever you end up using, I'm just gonna pull in a few months to show you. Let's say I want to use these date labels in this font to label my planner. So I'm gonna pull in January, February, and March and I'm pulling them in all together. So it's kind of jumbled right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my lasso tool and circle all of these so all of them are selected, click in the center and click resize. And then I'm just gonna drag to resize and I'm actually gonna rotate at the same time. And now we just wanna make sure these fit on the tabs. I think I can make them a little bigger. There we go. So now, one at a time, I can just hold down, hit edit, and that's gonna select whatever's on top. And I can place that here. Again, I'm gonna hold down, hit edit, that's gonna select the sticker that's on top, which is February. I'm gonna place that here. And now I've got January, so I need to get my lasso and place that here. Okay, so now I've got this labeled, but it's only on my first divider. So if I wanted to label my whole planner before I even think about duplicating a page or anything like that, I can just circle all of these, hit copy, and then I'm just gonna scroll to the next page, hold down, hit paste, and then drag those over. And this is gonna seem like it takes forever but if you do it only one time before you duplicate any pages at all, you want this to be the very first thing that you do, um, just go throughout your whole planner and do this. And you can do this for all the tabs, obviously, not just three tabs. I'm just showing you three to keep this video short. That will be the fastest way for you to label your tabs. And then when you duplicate pages, those labels will be there for you. So I did it this way. I usually label the tabs for you by month, but I did it this way for one thing, so you can start in whatever month you want, but you might not wanna organize this by month. You might not wanna date it at all and just keep it strictly for lettering and maybe have a section for names and a section for inspirational words. Um, there's just a lot of possibilities here. So that is why I didn't label the tabs for you. So you're free to label them however you want. But I think you guys get the idea by now. You just copy and paste and then place. But if you wanna label all 12 tabs, you can do it in one swoop with all 12 tabs and it'll be fine. So for dating your weekly layout, that is done in a very similar way. You've got some stickers that have your days, they've got your months. So let's say this week is August. So we're just bringing in this August sticker and then you would size that down to fit. And then you could bring in your daily stickers and you would place those the same way. I'm just doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, again, just to keep things quick. And then I'm resizing them together. And then you can press and hold 
to separate. So there's Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday. I should have made those a little bit smaller, but that's okay because we can do that now. And then you can just bring in your numbers over here or place them wherever you want. You can even write the numbers. You can bring in any other digital planner stickers that you have. I'm sure a lot of you know how to do this already, but this is here for you just in case you don't. Okay, so that's how you can use the planner strictly in GoodNotes. Procreate is where I personally prefer to use the planner. Here is an example of a page that I filled out for the listing photos that I did completely in Procreate. And then here's an example of one of the daily pages. So just like all my other planners, this planner actually comes with a pages folder. So just like all of my other digital planners, you can import the pages directly in Procreate to fill them out. And then you can bring those into GoodNotes and overlay them on top of a blank page in GoodNotes. So I actually have those pages saved to my camera roll. So what I would do if I wanted to import it into this planner, I would go to a blank page just like this and I have it saved to my camera roll. So I would just pull it in from my camera roll and then resize it. And now my pages are organized in this planner, but they were filled in in Procreate. So my writing is a little cleaner and I've got better results. So now I'm going to show you some of the bonuses that you can purchase to use in Procreate or in GoodNotes. Uh, these will work in GoodNotes as well, except for the Procreate brushes. And this is just an add-on option for anybody that wants to further improve their letters. I'm going to release one of these bundle packs a month. So as of right now, as of August 14th, 2019, there is one bundle pack available. But if you're watching this, sometime in mid-September or October, or like a year from now, there will be more bundle packs available in my Etsy shop. So this is my first bundle pack. I am going to pull this up right here. And with these lettering bundle packs, they're laid out just like the daily pages where you'll get 31 sheets just like this. Even when I release one on a month that has like 30 days, you're still gonna get 31 sheets with 31 words. And it's going to prompt you to write in capital, lowercase, monoline, brush, and then just kind of a miscellaneous style right here. This will change with each sheet. But what you can do here is you can actually trace my writing and then practice writing on all of these lines. And so there's going to be 31 of these. And each bundle pack will also come with a lettering guide. So these lettering guides... They have a guide for capital and lowercase lettering, monoline lettering, and brush lettering. And on these documents, you can trace my letters, and I've actually marked each stroke. So every time you see an arrow, you'll see some of these letters have three arrows, some have two, some have one. That is where I pick up my pen, and I make that next stroke. So I've marked that off for you as well. And if you actually download the Procreate file, there's a layer already available for you where you can just start writing and you can trace over it to kind of get the feel of how I shape my words. Now, lettering is completely subjective. If you don't like my style, I don't recommend you purchasing these bundle packs because this is completely in my lettering style. There are so many lettering guides out there in so many different styles. So if there's another style that you like better, you can download one of those and practice that style on these sheets that come with this planner. Um, but for those of you that do like my style, this is available for you to purchase in addition to the planner. You can also purchase, if you want, it's just an optional add-on, the brushes that I used to create these lettering guides. However, if you already own my Ultimate Lettering Pack and you've already got the Smooth Moves brush and you've got the Signature brush and then you have the free Monoline brush that's available in my Naptime Alternative Facebook group, you don't need to purchase these brushes at all. Um, but if you don't own those brushes, if you don't own the Signature brush and you don't own the Smooth Moves brush, you can purchase them now as of today in a bundle for three dollars if you want to use the same brushes that i used for these guides that is not a requirement whatsoever all you really need in order to use these guides is some sort of standard procreate brush for handwriting whatever you prefer to use for handwriting 
a monoline brush, which is just a brush that is not pressure sensitive. It doesn't change brush weight if you press down. And then some type of Procreate brush pen, which I believe there's one that comes standard in the app. So that it's not a requirement to purchase those brushes at all. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly how you can use just one of these sheets in the bundle pack. So if you have the brush set and the bundle pack, I've actually labeled the brushes. So the capital and lower, that's actually my signature brush. The monoline is the monoline brush and then the brush is the Smooth Moves brush. So this is the brush that you would use for your capital and lower letters if you wanna use those same brushes. And then you can just zoom in and then trace over what I've written here. And I definitely recommend using quick shapes for best results. If you don't know what quick shapes are in Procreate, I have a full video on how to use Procreate that I will link to in the video description and it'll explain quick shapes. But you can just trace over that. You can trace over it more than once if you need to. And then once you feel comfortable, you would just move down here and write the word over and over again on each line until you have something like this. So that's all there is to it. I'm really excited about this product. I get a lot of questions about lettering. I've been asked if I have lettering guides, which I do have a video on YouTube that walks you through how I form each letter of the alphabet in brush script. Um, it's all lowercase. And I'll link to that in the video description. That video is really helpful because it encourages you to look at letters more like shapes rather than the letter as a whole. And that was a game changer for lettering for me once I made that discovery. Um, but my lettering has come a long way since then. So these lettering guides are a little more polished than uh, the lettering guides that I had back then. These bundles, by the way, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. They come with Procreate files that you can import directly into Procreate or they come with PNG images. So if you want to practice your lettering in GoodNotes, you definitely can. You can just import one of those as a PNG image and then it'll be there for you in GoodNotes. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions at all. I'm so excited about this product. I hope you guys love it too. I hope this video made sense because I'm so tired. <laughs> so I feel like I just kind of rambled and I don't know if I did the product justice because it really is a neat release. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital planning tutorials and to be among the first to know when I release a digital planning related product. Join my Facebook group, Naptime Alternative. It's an awesome digital planning and lettering Facebook group. Check out my Patreon page. There's a the link down below and check out my website naptimealt.com where there's tons of planner related freebies that you can download now.